Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? And welcome to another mobility routine for athletes and specifically for basketball players. With this video and this routine, we are going to work on our shoulder mobility, our hip mobility, our thoracic spine mobility, and a little bit of ankles and hamstrings. So the first exercise that we have is a deep squat to knee sit. So what you're going to do is go down to your deep squat, immediately into your knee sit, and you are going to stay here for five seconds. Now it may feel a little awkward on the tops of your ankles if you are tight but just go ahead and sit through it and this will get less and less awkward as you do it so you're gonna spend five seconds in the knee sit and then five seconds in the squat and you are going to repeat that for five reps total Moving on to the next exercise, we have the deep squat and reach, and you're going to do five reps each side. So what you can do if you actually have the ankle mobility is you can place your heels on the ground for this one. But what you wanna do is actually open up your arm, stretch all the way through the chest, open up your spine, and you're gonna do five reps each side. This is the deep squat and reach. Moving on to the hip swivel, we have 10 reps each side. This is my personal favorite mobility exercise. This is really going to do a lot to open up your hips and help you with that squat mobility if you have tight hips. So go ahead, sit down, and you're going to do 10 reps each direction, swiveling from side to side. And next we have the Jefferson curls. You're gonna do five reps with a five second hold at the bottom. Now, all of you know, if you're a fan of my channel, that I have extremely tight hamstrings. So this is one that I've been focusing on a lot lately. What you're going to do is drop the weights. If you don't have weights, you do not have to use weights, but I like to use dumbbells. This is a very good one to use a weighted, use weights for a weighted stretch. So you're going to roll your body all the way down, drop the weights to your toes, as you can tell, I'm also elevating my toes on the mat. You don't have to do that, but if you have a mat or a slant board to do this on an incline, that is a very good thing to do for this exercise. But you're going to go all the way down and all the way up. And when you go down, you're going to hold it for five seconds down at the bottom for a nice stretch. Moving on to the archer squat, we have five reps each side. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and move the mat out of the way. And what this exercise does, the archer squat, is actually loosens up your hamstrings and your adductors, okay? So a little bit of hips as well, but you're going to spread your legs a little bit and you're going to go down to the side. Now, this is a tough uh, exercise if you have never done it before. So if you are losing your balance, you can just go ahead and put your hands on the floor for this one but try to keep your balance. And what you're going to do is shift from side to side to side while trying to keep your hips as low as possible. So when you shift from the left to the right, go ahead and try to keep your hips as low as possible and open them up as much as possible. But this is the Archer Squat.
and we're gonna go ahead and move into monkey walks. We have five reps each direction. So I'm gonna do five reps to the left and then I will turn around and I will do, well, I'm not gonna turn around. I'm just gonna do five reps to the right. So what this one does is loosen up your ankles a little bit, but mainly this is another one for your hips. Remember this routine is mainly for your hips and then a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of thoracic spine, and then we have a little bit of ankles and hamstrings added in there as well. Now we have squat walks once again this is for your hips a little bit of your ankles um, if you have knee pain you might want to skip this one focus on getting your knees right first and then you could do these squat walks whenever your knees feel a little bit better And then we have our ostrich walks. We have 10 steps each direction. So you're going to be stepping right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, but you're going to be reaching for your toes each time that you step. So this is good for hamstring flexibility and hamstring mobility. And what you're gonna do is 10 steps one direction, then turn around and do 10 steps the other direction. And after the ostrich walks, we have a passive hang. So for this one, you are simply just hanging from a bar for 60 seconds. Now, if you cannot hang from a bar for 60 seconds, then you can hang for 30 seconds. If you can't hang for 30 seconds, hang for 15 seconds. If you can't do that, hang for five seconds and then just progressive overload from there. The next time, try 10 seconds and then 15, 20, 25, 30 until you can do 60 seconds. But the goal here is 60 seconds and what this is going to do is open up your shoulders. This is extremely good for your shoulder health, which is imperative if you are a basketball player. And after the passive hangs, this is our last exercise. We have band over and backs for 20 reps total. This works best with a band, but it also works if you have a broomstick. If you are at home, that will do just fine. But a band is your best option. And what you're gonna do is just go over and back and over and back. We have 20 reps total. And once again, this is for shoulder mobility and shoulder health. And that is it guys, that is our shoulders, hips, and spine mobility routine with a little bit of ankles and hamstrings added in as well. If you want to go ahead and restart the video and do this again, you can do some extra work, but generally speaking, this will be good if you do it one time through three times per week. Other than that, make sure you're subscribed, comment, jump down below for a free program, and I will see you guys in the next video.